We don't need it. Alright, let's turn in game music on. Alright, we should be good to go. I think. Oh, wait, what the fuck is this? Disappear. Thought. Bro, I will certainly can't wait to vainly root for you. What are you talking about? We're gonna beat the ultimate today. In a single day. We're gonna speedrun it in one hour. No one is gonna vainly root for me. Easiest challenge of the day. Everybody show your schnitzels in the air. Megania might actually continue Diablo 2 tomorrow. Because I was having a lot of fun yesterday. So I might just switch between Diablo 2 and the ultimate for a while. I mean, there's also King Meek, eh? And of course, there's also co-op was first. What happened to last one? I died. But that's like ages ago. I didn't play this game in forever because I rage quit after I died. I forgot that every new run in kills part ma. Yeah, consulot, you better root for me or it will be part ma again. Stop dying then. I'll try. I'm not clowning around with the classes anymore. I'm playing the most OP class now. So that's a good start. Are you guys excited for this class? No more awkwardly getting brilliant. It is broken AF. Yeah. I mean it's actually supposed to be a bug that supposed to got fixed several patches ago, but it still works. So that's one of the main reasons I actually avoided it in my first attempts, because it might not get recognized as a viable run. But at this point, I've died so many times that I just want to finish the challenge, so I don't really care if it gets recognized or not. Also, I'm kind of feeling like maxing decks. We're going to get zero recovery late game, but it's not always guaranteed because... Oh, we can't get more than 17 on this. It's not always guaranteed because... Um, weapons can break, so you don't want to keep trying for the Scordios if you would get into danger of breaking it or destroying it, I guess. Breaking is fine.
Oh, this game doesn't have bar dwarfs. This is not a good stat. Or at least it doesn't have bar dwarf portraits. At least it actually has bar dwarfs. So now what do we do about the portrait? We give it a non-dwarf portrait? But then we don't have a beard. Wait, is this a... Is this kind of like a dwarf? I mean, I guess it's supposed to be a human, but he could pass for a bald dwarf. Harris <laughs> game. Where even are the dwarves in the portraits? I don't fucking see them. Is this the dwarves, I guess? Yeah, this is the dwarves. Yeah, no bald dwarves. So, fuck you, game. I know it's a human portrait. Why can I not get pink hair? I want a pink beard. <sighs> this game is not starting well. This game is not starting well. At least we get pink eyes, which we can't really see. But, oh well. Um, where we're going was noble, right? The ultimate will be beaten by a bald elderly dwarf, yeah? So a post on Obsidian Forum showing that you can kill mega bosses in a few minutes with Scorpius Edge. Yeah! I mean, I was going for that strat from the start, Projo. But the thing is, I had shied away from using the tactician, even though I used it in my practice runs. But I shied away from this class because it's kind of a little bit buggy because you get brilliant very easily by just going invisible or using withdraw. And it's not quite clear whether a run that uses that strategy will actually be accepted by like somebody that gets a space on the wall at Obsidian stu stu Studios or whatever. But at this point, I just want to beat the challenge, so I don't care anymore. But yeah, my previous runs were kind of doomed a little bit because the last time I ran was a chant there and I was always like, I don't want to use sp specific priest spells because the only way I can get them back is with Brilliant and the only way I can get Brilliant is by sitting there for one hour and hitting myself with skeletons. So yeah, usually I just shied away too much from using my priest spells and the fight I died in, I should have just used the straw and Valorant myself, and I didn't. Because, yeah, it would have been hard to get it back. So now, we're just going with the cheesy tactician. We won't have that problem. Wait, I can't make question marks. In my fucking name. You're giving me the Val challenge and I can't get question marks in my name? There's question marks everywhere and I can't get question marks in my name? Are you serious? Go. Yeah, I am favoring Dex over Might now, which is probably not the best idea late game because we're gonna have zero recovery from Scott's Edge most of the time. But it is gonna help with the early game, and the thing is, if you get late game, you win anyway. So, yeah, that's why we're favoring Dex now. Hey, Forty, what's up? Yeah, my last run, I died in a bounty fight at level 15 was my last run. I died against Nomu, so yeah, it's a new run, but we're not clowning around with the classes anymore, we're playing Broken Tactician now. Yeah, Projo, that's what I'm thinking. Refund. How can you give me a challenge where everything is question marks and then you don't allow question marks in my name? The return to you. How are you feeling? 
I know not how, my lord. Misfortune. It. You should prepare for battle, my lord. The pirates of Deadfire are notorious. I suggest you deal with them quickly. It's a cruel joke from Obsidian, it is. They just want us to suffer. The spacebar intensifies. And that was just the first of many spacebar mashings. The shit cam is still on. Hide your babies. Defend the ship. Where's Irina? Oh, she's invisible. We well, can't lose the ship fight, boys. Irina's sneaky. I'm paying much attention to dispositions. Um, I think it's pretty easy with the. Barras, because it's rational and stoic, aggressive and cruel, it's pretty easy to not go with the, or to go with these and not go with these. But it doesn't really matter that much. It's supposed to give your spiritual weapon a better lash, but I've actually tried that out and I feel like it doesn't do anything at all. So it mainly scales the heal of this. So it's pretty bad actually. But yeah, it's pretty easy to actually pay attention to that. So I am kind of paying attention to it. But yeah, it's not the biggest deal. Doesn't really matter if she dies, but it helps with the fight if she doesn't. Yeah, I thought so too, Cat, and the lash always seems to be 20%. Oh yeah, I probably don't need this to be this slow. You're right. I want to be a little careful, I don't want to do like fast mode, but... Normal mode should be enough. Arena's gonna go down. Oh, she's still alive. Go, go, go. <laughs> Not turn-based combat, no. Turn-based combat, first of all, takes way too long. Because you can't flee combat. And the ultimate. And also, I don't think it's better because in the ultimate you only get 10 seconds per turn. And I feel like I have more time reacting to stuff in slow mode than if I get 10 seconds per turn. 
especially since casting stuff also counts to your turn duration. So if you cast something that's usually a free action, then it will still take half of your turn. So free actions are useless. And the turn based combat is already pretty bad in that fire. And if it, if you take away the free actions from it as well, then yeah. I played both. I think turn combat is way easier. Did you play it in the ultimate though? With the non-pausing 10 seconds per turn? I mean, you might totally be right. I don't think I ever seriously tried it. It's a relief to see you. Hence that, my lord. You ready for an adventure? Cause I sure am. Ow! Scrape my knee. I'll help. I don't think sinking to games is that hard. Um, what are you specifically preferring to? But I've been really lazy with my parallel test runs in the past. I don't think that they're as important as one might think. Like, they're important for testing out certain fights, for sure. And obviously, you kind of want to have a timer that you can see how much time you have remaining. But at least... Depending on your class, if you play something like this class, I don't think they're as important. Thanks for letting me tag along. But I also don't There's see big for this a big difficulty in syncing two games. Of like, where do you see a difficulty in that? Yeah, parallel runs are too boring, that's the main reason. Why I've been really, really lazy with it because I always have to get them through the grind and pot my naked taka at the start, and especially naked taka I could do without. So. And the thing is, because we're playing a tactician, we don't necessarily need the brilliant cloak, so we don't need like practice for stealing that or whatever, but we've practice that plenty anyway like often enough but but yeah if you always go like the same route it's not really that hard To mirror that was another character, in my opinion. Um. So I think we're gonna do the cave again. The cave is good XP at the start, and we don't have to go here twice. No, I don't really have... Oh, she died. I don't really have a system. I just repeat what I did with my main run. Or if I start the mirror first, I just repeat with my main run what I did with my mirror. I don't have a system at all. As I said, I've been really lazy and not doing enough mirroring anyway in the past. I think my past run didn't have a mirror at all. And I didn't die because I didn't have a mirror. I died to a glitchy interaction with my potion getting cancelled twice. 
I mean, once wasn't glitchy, once was due to AI being on, but the other one was glitchy because it was like due to nothing. There was no reason. They have hardened, so I guess they have more armor class, but that doesn't really bother us because of bleeding card. Yay, brilliant. I totally forgot that you get that at the end of combat as well. I mean, you don't always get it, but you sometimes do, so I could have used stuff there, I guess. Why do I feel like the game is stuttering more in slow mode? Um, maybe because it is? I don't know. I Sometimes it's okay for me and it's not really stuttering that much, and sometimes it's crazy. So I don't know if it's slow mode or not. I'm kind of holding my stuff. Probably shouldn't do that because brilliant at the end of combat. But it doesn't really matter against these guys, I guess. I think it's like if you fight a single enemy, it's guaranteed, but if you fight more than one enemy... Yeah, it doesn't always proc. I think it's kind of related to how many enemies you've killed, but I don't know for certain. But it might be. It might be what causes it. Because you don't fight one enemy that often. But yeah, I try to not rely on it. Once we get to level 2, we can just... Or I guess once we get to power level... Um, power level 3, which is level 9. Level 4. Level 7, which is level 7. Then we'll have 2 withdrawals, so then we can always get our stuff back anyway. No, basically, Projo, the tactician, is backed right now. And whenever you go invisible or use withdraw, which is like an invisible, the enemies, if you do it in a spot far enough away from the enemies, the enemies will be out of sight. But yeah, that's the main reason I've been avoiding this class up until now. But the kids' gloves are off. Oh, they have bullish. Okay, that's interesting. Also, I'm not in the best spot for Vela, actually. Especially because they have bullish. This might have been a mistake. Okay, I'm using this. I'm kind of scared now. 
This was a mistake. I didn't realize they would have different mobs. Uh, different mods than the mobs outside. I did not expect this. I remember being as stupid as Bella when I was a kid. Yeah, she's pretty out there. She is pretty out there. Oh, my healing is gone. I didn't expect this fight to go forever. Okay, we got Brilliant again. Interesting. So this was two enemies and we still got Brilliant. That was interesting. Um, after this very rough start, I might just ignore the skeletons. I kind of feel like it. I mean, we can one-shot them with this, so maybe I shouldn't. Hmm. The dragon bosses. Yeah. I mean, the only dragon boss that could be run ending is the fire dragon. If you have a good class, that's good late game, of course. But you have to have that for mega bosses anyway. The water shape I guild with prowling. What does prowling do again? I don't even know what all the mods do. Oh, prowling gives them summons. I see. Yeah, it sounds pretty hard. Prowling stealth. What do you mean, stealth? He's permanently stealthed? Yeah, I do not know what prowling means. At the start of combat. Hmm. Doesn't he immediately attack you? Wait, where are the skeletons? Oh, there they are. Alright, Vala, I need you to come over here. Please? Oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. That was scary. That was way too scary. At least that thing doesn't actually immediately happen. At least you have to target it or we would have been kind of fucked there. One run I had the fire dragon was prowling and he did the summons first. I mean he always does the summon first for me, the fire dragon. But... The tentacles and summons, Cadden. The tentacles are like below wards. And the wards break during the fight. I don't see how prowling helps you there. Or helps him to summon. Like he doesn't summon them. The wards need to break and that takes quite a while. As far as I remember, maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. I mean, you might have to cast, but it always takes them like an hour to summon those, because the, the wards have to break, as far as I know. Damn, pirate. What? I'm trying to find well, I... He can't summon the tentacles when the wards... Yeah, I mean, I died ages ago, Norgna, on my last run, but I kind of rage quit and had a little bit of a break, so some people might not remember it.
I mean, that's at least what I remember, Caden. Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. It's a possibility. But that's what I remember from that fight that the wards had to break. Oh, also we leveled Park Champ. So I guess we actually should go Diplomacy first. Mutiny was Diplomacy, right? You guys have got me completely beat. Yeah, it's the same here. No, that's insane. Prowling herumtreiben. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't tell too much about what it actually does. I guess it does fit the stealth scene theme. But I wouldn't guess just from that. It means they have stealths. Maybe I'm just dumb. Well, I almost killed myself there by forgetting about this trap. I mean, probably not killed myself, but got unnecessary injury. I could go for the ring as well. Because why not? I definitely do not want to fight these guys, so... I need to be super careful, because I used a lot of mouse keys when I was playing um, Kingmaker, and... The problem is two of these mouse keys I need for combat speed up and slow down in this game. But since I haven't played this game in forever, I'm so used to the Kingmaker controls now that I just have to be really careful. Oh wait, was I muted? Did I just comment comment about the summons and the wards? If not, I repeat myself. Sorry, I didn't realize I was muted if I was. So yeah, I did not know that. And yeah, I guess the stealth footwork is always pretty much the same there. But I used to not go that direction at all. Because I was a scaredy baby at the start. Little scaredy baby. But yeah, stealth and spark crackers are pretty awesome in some situations.
what if the giant comes this way? Please, everyone stay calm. Have what if it's one of the pirates? Quite. Yeah, same dog now. I'm so sick and tired of the scene. <laughs> My own game. I just wish you could skip my... I mean the worst part is still naked Taka, don't get me wrong. But... It's so tiresome. But we will prevail. We will never have to see this again. Ever. Kappa. Come in, Bella. I don't want you to open the door on me. Easy now. Tori. Come to this why when the fighting is over. Not against that woman should they call her. Yeah, I mean, you cannot use Mule Kick with Rod Scuds, but you still get the awesome Greatsword as a Barras. The Greatsword is so much better than the Skein Summoned Weapons. Rod Scuds is just a big bonus that you get because you get way more ranged accuracy than you'll ever get melee accuracy. So whenever you can use Rod Scuds, whenever you don't need Mule Kick, then you'll just do absurd amount of damage because of 170 plus accuracy. Oops, that almost went wrong. Yeah, melee in offhand is not good. But yeah, usually at the end of the day the end game plan is gonna be to get all our buffs before the fight, like engage the fight, use double withdraw, get brilliant, use salvation of time to extend all the good stuff. So you don't really need mule kick during those type of fights. The only fights where mule kick could be interesting is in fights like the ooze, because you also need to interrupt the ooze. But I kind of plan on using the armor that you get from the person that also has a lightning helmet, the Deltra's cage, like there's a helmet and there's an armor. Like usually you can't wear armor for too long because it will break most of the time just during a single fight. But my plan is just to hold on to it and not use it till the ooze fight and then just extend it with salvation of time, like use the buff of the armor, you can call Avenging Storm or whatever it's called but you can call the one Lightning Storm that actually stands and you can extend it with Salvation of Time as well so it will last for the entire fight and they'll just be permanently stunned. That's my plan so you kind of don't need Mule Keg. It's still cool for the early game and I'm still gonna get it because once again the Great Swords are really good or the Great Sword is really good. But yeah, definitely, I don't see the tactician revolving just around Mule Kick in the ultimate, just because of the OP um, brilliant thing with stealthing. This doesn't seem to be the best time to steal here. The better part of Valor. And these guys all have horrible stealth detection. So probably doesn't matter. Give me your money. First doesn't have anything. Yeah, this is fine. 
Right, whatever. Let's ignore the other chest. It's not right. I came here on the first ship. Yo, oh, also people always keep telling me to do this first. I don't have lockpick, so I just realized. I guess I can buy them. Lockpicks aren't that expensive. Try hard to do it again. I mean, I personally don't think the like 70 or whatever XP you get there is worth it. But whatever. Okay, now I don't have lockpicks anymore. Are you looking for something? Let's buy some lockpicks. Oh, and onyxes. See, this is actually pretty good that I'm talking to this guy. Because usually, I forget about the onyxes. So, onyxes was for the straw scrolls, right? Oh, it was not. Never mind. Onyx is for inverse potions. But I don't think I need them. For this character. It's so easy to craft though. Welcome. Are you looking? I don't know how expensive they are. I could look it up, but I'm really lazy. Actually, gonna keep the medium shields in case mine breaks. Also, I'm saying stuff slowly and carefully. So I don't oversell. Um. Hmm. Okay. I'll have this open in no time. It's done. I'll take care of this. Sorry, guessing you're the one came in off that lift. Well, he's a merchant. I appreciate that. Hey, Pan, what's up? Have you started Kingmaker yet? I'll handle this. Don't remember ordering more drinks. Thought I'd locked that thing. You've got to try not to slam the door now. <laughs> Like so if any uh, come on Finish Dark Souls first. Oh I haven't actually seen you play Dark Souls yet. The other day when you were gonna play it I had to go to sleep. So you're playing Dark Souls 3 right now, right? Yeah. I'll take care of this. Oh also have you played the other Dark Souls before Pan? And how do you like Dark Souls 3 in comparison? I Oh, you played Bloodborne, right.
Yeah, it's really weird. Some people prefer Dark Souls 3 over Dark Souls 1, which I personally do not agree with at all. Still kicking, eh? Hey. Just beat Pontiff. Did you parry him to death? Pontiff is so easy with parries. But yeah, with your first playthrough, probably not. These dawn stars drive me mad. Every morning, the same hymns. I wish they'd stayed in red cells. Oh, you to the coral. No contest. Bloodborne has a lot of Lovecraft stuff in it, really. You are a strange man. That's one thing I kind of liked about Fallout 4, even though I keep shitting on it. Especially when Firsten is here, because I'm a bad person. But they had a lot of Lovecraft stuff in it as well. Which is pretty dope. Yeah, I haven't played Bloodborne. I don't have a console, I know there's like the PS Now thing, but even though I keep telling myself I have to get it, I haven't done it yet. Oh really, Bloodborne has a lack of weapons compared to Dark Souls 3? That's interesting, I always thought they had a lot of weapons because you see all these weird exotic weapons people use. But yeah, I haven't played Bloodborne so I wouldn't know. I'm not gonna waste the lockpick here. I've already that crazy for the XP. Then we can come back when we have more mechanics, items. Oh, Pan, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Doggo bits, thank you very much. But unless all that said, in I, your familiar, it's also quite which, which is which one. <clears throat> oh, you have switch weapons and blood bond. I mean, Dark Souls 3, the boss encounters in the base game are not very good, in my personal opinion. I get told that the DLCs are much better, but I haven't stuck around for the DLCs. Like, I played Dark Souls 3 a lot when it came out, but when the DLCs came out, which I all own, because I bought a season pass, I actually never played them yet. I might, at some point. Secretly being bits so I can ask lots of dumb questions about Pathfinder. Ah, you can do that for free. It's alright. I mean... Pathfinder is not that complex once you've started to get the hang of the basics. It seems very complex at the start. Yeah, I like Dark Souls 2 a lot actually, Nogna. I'm not really bringing that up a lot because I know everyone hates it, but I actually secretly prefer Dark Souls 2 over Dark Souls 3. But I know it's not a very... What's the word? Very... Favorable, very widely accepted opinion. I don't know how to call it. I know most people wouldn't agree with it. 
Okay, Pan. See you in a bit. <laughs> okay, Nog, man, no problem. Have fun. Yeah, thank Overlord. I finally did continue. It's just that we have to go... Oh, yeah, popular opinion. That's right, JFC. That's what I was trying to say. And you try to start a new RPG any year, and when Baldur's Gate 3 comes and says hello. I mean, it's gonna take a while. Until it actually comes out. Alright. Two major issues with Dark Souls 2, it's not even the story, it's not about the level and the boss design. I actually like the level and the boss design in Dark Souls 2. The Ashen King DLC is a level before the second smell daddy. <laughs> but there's also cool stuff about level design. Like, the one castle you go at, I don't remember which one it is, where you have all those arches and whatnot. And there's a level where you have to, like, throw switches and stuff, and the enemies fall down in the lava. I don't remember what it's called. I'm not saying that I'm actually the biggest Dark Souls 2 fan ever. For me, definitely Dark Souls 1 is the greatest of all time. But I'm just not as taken in by Dark Souls 3 in comparison to both of the Dark Souls, the previous ones. I'm not necessarily saying Dark Souls 2 is actually better, I'm just not as big of a free fan. When it came out I thought it was amazing, but I played it a lot and then after playing it for quite a while and putting quite a few hours into it, I replayed the older ones, you know, how it sometimes is. And you see stuff in a little bit different light than you see it when you played it the first time. When I played Dark Souls 2 for the first time, I hated it. Yeah, there's quite a few people who actually do like Dark Souls 2. I'm not completely alone. And yeah, I would enjoy Bloodborne, but once again, I don't have a console, but... I will get to it at some point. Just use PS now. Shut up, Bella. You're already s smart enough as it is. I was gonna say something a lot less nice there. What is it? I now something you wanted. Cool. I come and go register. Is it? The Covenants. Oh yeah, those were pretty cool in Dark Souls 2, actually. No, I would not spend money on a console, I'd just use a PS Now thing. Because you have to, like, pay a monthly fee for it, but I think the first month is free. So what I would do is, like, just play through Bloodborne and then get rid of it again. Also, I do need to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Enjoy looking at some question marks, Kappa. Yeah, I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. <clears throat> Vibes are his question mark, so why wouldn't we? Yeah, they're great. Another seven Twitter subscribes, Lars. Hmm. I'm actually not using Twitter. Oh, you're a musician, Somolo. See, Pan is working in the music industry. He can make you big. Oh, okay, no, nah, that's awesome. As long as you can concentrate. You were looking for Kawa? Ring the Valian? Ikai for that? Yes. Don't be foolish. Clary. What? So then, what am I? Huh. I will ask our. Not using voice, anyways. I used to do that a lot when I started. Chilling with some X-Men legends that almost no one wanted to see, even though I love that game. Yeah, I need to get emotes. I talked to Tsai about it a couple of times, but they need to be a specific size and I've been lazy and sometimes busy, but I will get on it. I will get on it. Hey, Acmage, yeah, I got a ball dwarf going. That doesn't actually have a dwarf portrait because there wasn't bought dwarf portraits. I'll 
What were you guys playing? Tomb of Jarakon. Oh, it's a Warcraft map, right? D and D like map. Can make a thousand dungeon levels because it's barring Archmage. No one wants to bore himself to death. No, grinding is not fun. Not for me, at least. I mean, the only reason I keep stopping to play Pass of Exile is whenever I get into grinding territory. I really like that game, but whenever it goes to grinding, I'm like, I'm out. I'll handle this. I'll take care of this. I'm afraid not. I'll handle it. So do we go for this or not? I mean, it's not really that risky. But... There's a certain risk involved. And there's zero use for it. Yeah, that would be something for Pan, I think. Because you can just get super OP characters that you can't get in the base game. I have two different really OP things I can do if I wanted to grind in that game. I could either get Endless AC, so armor class, or Endless Caster levels. But yeah, I'm probably not gonna play further than just beating the final boss. Because I just don't really see... A reason to grind for the grinding's sake. But you have to keep in mind that you're actually just grinding for the grinding's sake because the final boss is on level 50 and Atmage wants you to grind to like level 1000 or something stupid like that. Wait, why are... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, why is this not showing? 
was backed for a second or something. I don't know what was going on. That was scary. That was actually really scary. I didn't realize it would get that close. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> can today girlfriends mad that I stream for 12 hours after having migraine? Yeah, we sometimes do silly things. Victor, such a comfy stream, as long as you don't mind the shakings cackling in the background. Oh yeah, and the Hoover. Hey, Radi, what's up? I'll take care of this. All right, let's get concentrated here. Oh, we got this super early. Let's keep quiet. Get rid of stupid cam. Oh, it's gone. Is that guy coming here or not? Oh, he's going, okay. So last time, I didn't do the best job of the spark crackers. So let's be really careful. It's two of them. Is that enough? 
Ah, uh, not quite. Well, I got the wisps change at position. So that's a good start. Hmm. This guy, though. I don't like this too much, but I think we're good. Yeah. Easy. I'll take care of this. The last time I think I actually used three spark crackers and they were all piled up in that corner. But I don't think it's necessary. So now the boring grind begins, again, as it has so many times before. Oh shit, I actually just messed up. Wow. I messed up so hard there. Bless five stealths. Bless five stealths. But there was no going back. He would have bumped into me. There was no going back there. I needed to keep going. That was insane. That's <laughs> the feel of again. Is that isn't that like a Sparta reference? I'm so bad at references. Hey Jarek, what do you mean this is strict free? Strictly non Diablo or distinctly non Diablo. I think you're actually in another timeline right now because I'm playing Diablo. My stream says I'm playing Diablo. I don't know what you're seeing, but maybe you're in a different universe or something. And you're seeing me playing something else. How do I make Diablo 2 run in a good resolution? So, what I did. Personally, um, is I actually set my monitor to a 4 to 3 resolution. I took the highest that my monitor had. It was like, well, I didn't take the highest that my monitor had because it's a 4K resolution, but I took the highest that's like below 1080. I just set, like, I went to display settings and just set my monitor my base display setting to the highest four to three and then i'm using um borderless windowed you have to make diablo 2 windowed first so you have to make a shortcut for diablo 2 and you have to change the name the target name of the shortcut and have to do minus w at the end of it And then borderless windowed will work because you will play it in windowed. And that way you get a pretty high resolution for it. Yeah, it was easier for Diablo 1 for me as well. It's weird. I didn't have any problems at all for Diablo 1. But yeah, in this game, it's in 2, it's a little bit weird. It doesn't actually take that long though, Jarek. Just make a shortcut. Make it windowed. It's pretty easy. It takes me like less than a minute to set it up. 
So you don't really need that much patience for it. I actually kind of have the same problem with high replayability. For me, it's mainly for stuff like Bardo's Gate. But yeah, I do have the same problem as well. I just want to keep it playing endlessly. But yeah, the Warcraft 3 multiplayer seems really amazing with all the different maps. Let's keep quiet. No, passive exile isn't broken anymore, Artmage. Meganya said yesterday it's a fix that. Wait, this is actually on fast and doesn't show. It was! What the fuck? Why does it sometimes not show? Oh, thank you for the host pun. I still find the way Victor says Mega's name hilarious. I mean, I don't know the original pronunciation, but back when 
um, back when Meganya was in my stream for the first time ever, I actually asked if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, and he said I did. So ever since then, I'm pronouncing it this way. But maybe I should look up how it's pronounced. But also, I think it would be weird if I would change the way I'm saying it now because I've always said it like this. You know? Probably memeing slightly, yeah. That's the thing he does. It's mega nia. Nia, like a cat. I can't even do that. I know what you mean by that, but I can't even say it like that. I can't even say it like that, even if I wanted to. I mean, actually, see if I can find the video. Is it? Oh, it's how I said it. Yeah. It does sound pretty kawaii. Maybe he just finds it hilarious how I pronounce it, so he wants me to keep saying it that way. Thanks, cat girls. Okay. That sounds very kawaii. Indeed. Nya, nya, nya. Nya. Dude, I'm so not anime. It's really hard for me to keep up with all this stuff. I just don't know any of the memes. I feel like an old man. I'm so anime. How could you, Somolo? How could you betray us like this? This is a club of old men. We are not anime. I am an old man, it's true. I watched Princess Mono Knock and Fall. I always wanted to watch that, but I never did. One of these type of um, animated pictures I really liked was... What's it called? Um, It has a really amazing track. It's like a little girl and their parents go into a... Like an amusement park or something. And the parents get turned into pigs. It's a very well-known film. And one of my favorites. Okay. Do we even go here? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh no, not that the Hootsie. Almost messed that up. I meant here. When he got off that boat. Yeah, we can go boating now. Studio Ghibli. Roses are red, violets are blue, violets the riding bird. Missed the most trending shit in the whole history. Careful. I can't wait to make some new friends. I'll handle this. Are we 
amiga. Yoshi wait, waits till we get out of Podma. He might. Mecca. <laughs> Keep time because I'm watching Victor during boss fight. Pan the super weep. I guess I'm gonna go and have some lunch. Keeping out of trouble. A little bit healthy. Well, here you are. I will be back after. So I think it will take at most. Yeah, really late lunch today because my brother was gone off to an appointment and. I was like, might as well start the stream and eat a little bit later. So yeah. See you in mostly half an hour, maybe a bit quicker than that. Be right back. <laughs>